Americans in Ireland haven't forgotten that it's Independence Day. And they celebrate it with a big garden party in the grounds of the American ambassador's residence in Dublin. The music was supplied by the Army Number One Band. The makeup was supplied by Crazy Horse. But there was more than just a feast for the eye in this exuberant celebration. Good old fashioned American hamburgers made in good old Ireland, of course. But this was more than a 200th birthday toast. represents uh, 200 years today of the what we might call the American experiment. It's 200 years that we have tried to uh, put forth a government of free will and a concern for the individual. And it's, uh, it's worked so far. We have problems. 200 years old is nothing compared to the, some of the antiquities here in, uh, in Ireland and other places in the world. But uh, 200 years to us is a beginning, uh, the beginning of being somewhat uh, beyond puberty. But as America found its feet as a nation, what of the Irish who helped it stand on its own? Uh, I've always had the feeling that the United States of America wouldn't exist if it weren't for the Irish. The Irish were at the forefront of everything we ever did. Uh, the, the Irish influence has affected the very essence of America. There's no part of American life that the Irish stamp is not on. Inflation and the balance of power were a long way from the minds of today's revelers, however patriotic their sex. Or indeed their socks. This was the happy face of America, prosperous and youthful. John Wayne had to start somewhere, you know. Used to be they'd send for the cavalry. Now it's the army's job to come to the rescue. We're out of beer at the moment, but uh, we're expecting reinforcements from uh, McKee Barracks. 